Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. Navy TPCA. Nate 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord. Link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Moon Knight episode two and uh, another good episode. I enjoyed it. I yeah, love fun classic. Of it. I think I, I think it was fun. I love the building of this world that we're getting. It's kind of weird that it is in the MCU of all things. Yeah, but, like uh, they don't like. Oh, remember Thanos when half the world got snapped away? Like that's not like a thing in this. Is this like it almost feels like this could be separate from from everything? I'm sure it is connected, but it just doesn't feel like it. Uh, yeah, it, it feels, doesn't have to be. No. Yeah. Like, we don't have to know, oh, there's a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent running oh, around. This, like, we don't... Right, yeah. is this after everyone died? Is everyone after everyone came back? We Yeah, yeah it could take place anytime. Yeah. But overall, it's a super fun episode. We get a little bit of action, some more story background of kind of what's going on with with uh, Steven and Mark and how, that's, how that relationship works. But we don't get all the answers, but we're starting to get enough answers. Like, oh, okay, so that's how it's happening. It's... Uh, some scary moments like the the scene in the um the lockers. Oh, that was yeah. this. Uh, what's what's the name of the god? Oh, Concha. Concha. Yeah. Because it kind of reminds me of the Concha, the the the, the, the freaking the pastry rolls. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking of when I hear his name. But he's pretty creepy looking. Like his, he's just like a bird skull floating on a body because he doesn't have a neck. And apparently, is the god of the moon. Judge, like the judgment. Yeah, yeah, the moon and judgment. Moon and judgment. So. Basically, you have two gods, a god and a goddess. One wants to kill people before they do bad things just to get rid of all the bad people. And one is going to judge people after they do something bad. Right. Which, and then the conundrum in both those ideas, because some of them have good points, some of them have bad points. So. Yeah, but you can stop a bad guy from ever doing something bad. Isn't that better? But then, what if they weren't going to do it? What if they just really wanted to do it? So you don't... You did. Yeah, this end is like, like you were saying, it's like it's between two gods. Like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. The weird, yeah, because then the other, the other way of saying it, well, then if you stop him after he does bad things, he's hurting people. Yeah. So, what's, what's but that's, better? But, you know... Right, right. That's, that's the whole gist of what... The, the, the battle of the two gods. So the episode two starts up right where the first one I remember he was in the big fight and everything and he just wakes up in his bed Whoa, and he kind of falls out. So at this moment he's still thinking it was a dream. Everything's a dream. Yeah. Everything was, wasn't real. So he goes back to work and we see that the whole uh, the thing's being blocked off. So something happened. Something went down, right? So like the, the security guard He's like, oh man, what happened here? Oh, they say it was a blessed water pipe, but I think it's something more. I was like, did you see the security tape? I so was going to. I was going to watch it with you. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. He's like, look. He's like, is that you? Are you crying? So like, keep keep watching. You see him get up and like kind of run around, and so you we, you don't even see that other guy, the glass shoe guy. No. no. So like you see him running, he almost knocks over his face. He's like, oh man, the 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 men, these guys be so mad at you. It's like all this stupid stuff. Because they thought like he broke the toilet. That's what yeah. caused like the problem. Oh, you broke the toilet. <laughs> he clogged it. You're going. You're just acting like a nut right now. Like you're just running around. Then he's like, what? what to-? He's like, okay, so what's happening? He's like, fast forward to when I come out of the bathroom. Because he's thinking, is he going to see the suit, like the 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 Moon Knight suit? You see, but he could totally tell it's Mark. It's like it's just you. It's like no, that's not me. But even by the way that he's standing and looking. He does a great job between being Steve and being Mark. Right. You can really tell the difference just on the way he holds himself. Oh, yeah. I think that's really, really cool that he was able to do that. Yeah. He's almost like it's a different character because it is. Right. Kind of like a Superman Clark Kent. Yeah. Like the very. Same thing Clark Kent's kind of more of like, you know, hunched and kind of being more. But if you don't know what you're doing, though, in the yeah. other person. Yeah, <laughs> so, the other person, on. right. So he gets called in the HR and he's like, oh, you know, everyone's been saying we're not going to press any charges. But there's like a hospital where people that can help you. So it's like a psych thing. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but you know, you're being like, oh, we're firing you. Yeah. yeah we need any. He's looking at the pamphlet. They're smiling. They look nice. Yeah. He's they're something like good listeners. I want to see if that pamphlet had any like real information in it. But he's like, yeah, you got to return everything that we have. Like, so his little name tag. So he got fired. He talks to his man in the freaking, uh, the, 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 the human statue. He's like, man, I lost my job. <laughs> he's saying all this stuff. But you know, I have items in my house. I'm going to go figure out what these items are. And he's, he's talking to him and he's like, and maybe I can prove that I'm not crazy. Yeah, as I have to prove as well that storage locker. Because remember that time that key added? I didn't know it was like a U story. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I'm going to go check this out. And he hugs him and the guy gets a look at him. Like, what the hell are you doing? I do like the fact that he's been going all around town because he doesn't know what U story. So he's going to every single He's going to get the fifth one here and he's like, 
He's like, yeah, um, it might be under Mark. It might be under uh, Steve. He's like, oh, I know you. He's like, yeah, you were here the other day, man. You know, Unit 46. Oh, okay, I'll show you. Walks him over there. Of course, you know, it's supposed to be private. So he goes in there. There's just a little cot. There's some, like, boxes. So it's like an apartment. Yeah. And he straight up sleeps in a freaking storage. Yeah. Which is ridiculous, but you can do it. But, oh, my God. Things have to be really bad in your life. <laughs> so he sees a bag, starts to go through. It's full of money. Tons of money. Then, and a gun. And a gun. And he picks it up like it's a pizza, like dog doo doo. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then there's a uh, passport. Yeah. Mark Spector. Mark Spector. Okay. He's like, oh my God, what is all this? Then, you know, spe- then he finds the scarab and then uh, we see it opens it and it's a, like a compass and it points. So when I made the joke that it was like the scarab and Aladdin, it totally is. It is, yeah. <laughs> but funny. instead of the Cave of Wonders, it's the ghost of some other tomb. But. Then the mark and the reflection because it's kind of like a polished steel. It's like okay, you gotta you gotta let me take over. We have, I have work to finish. No, I'm not letting you take over. But you, you, all the stolen stuff, all the things you're doing, all this is real. It's like yeah, I know. I told you it was real. Just let me have the body back. He's like no, I don't want you to have this body because you're stealing my life away. I lost my job. I'm never giving you nothing. But see if Mark. Would like have him sit down and explain things to him, but I think right. Mark is kind of like that assassin guy. I don't have time for this dumb dumb. Yeah, right. Wow. And it's one of those things where like he needs to be more honest because it's kind of funny that even Steven doesn't realize that he's split personality. Yeah, like you would think at this because, and that's what's funny about a lot of these shows that do this. Like they never like the people never figure it out until like way later. And also, too, you have to realize too, it's it's his life. And yeah. you have to realize that. And it's his life, too. And he did, and Mark cheats it like, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, well it see, is his life. Ma- 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 from Mark's per- perspective, he's just thinking this Stevie guy is just my uh, fake life that I don't get two craps about. Yeah. Because if he loses his job, his girlfriend hates him, who cares? Because I have my life. Yeah. Right. But, We're, but think, he's got to choose. It's, it's an equal partnership. See, th- because we find out later on, like, before, they, they always had, like, a good split and they would never interact with each other. But now they're starting to go to something happening and now they're yeah. interacting. But he's like... Just let me take over. You don't know anything about that scarab. Just leave it alone. and Let me get done and then I'll be done with this. He's like, no, know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to take all the stolen stuff, take it to the police, don't lock me in jail and pump me full of pills and I'll never see you again. He's like, you're not going to want to do that. He's like, uh, uh, Concha is not going to let you do that. Yeah. Then he starts running down the halls and all the lights start flickering. I'm like, okay, that guy's going to show up again. You see him like in the fall far hall. I'm like, oh, he's such a scary looking guy. So he's booking it. So all these like so every single time that we saw like the room shaking, that's really happening. Yeah, yeah. Before we thought maybe that's like in his mind or something. No, no it's, it's like, actually really happening. So it's like right up in his face, and it's like ah! and I like how it like freeze framed. Yeah, right. and the next scene he's just running out of there. <laughs> yeah, I thought like, that was like a, funny. Yeah, I thought it was, was kind of like a. Weird... I love the humor in this series. I really do. So he just bucks it. He's running, running, falls into the street, and then there's that Layla lady. Remember the one that was on the phone. phone. She's like, get on the damn bike. He's like, oh, oh, yeah. He's like, she's like, what's with that stupid accent? Mark, what's going on? Oh, I'm, I'm not Mark. I'm Steve. All this stupid, fake, freaking thing. Stop stop playing like, around. The, the guy's gone. Whoever was chasing you, they're gone. We you lost can, them. We can, you could can be Mark. He's like, I don't know. We like how he's like grabbing her shoulders. And she's like, why are you holding me like, like that? that? That's weird. He's like, but I got to hold on. So he kind of grabs her around the waist. And he's feeling like, oh, God, I'm touching this woman. I don't know who she is. And he's like getting close. And he's like kind of getting kind of like goofy about it. But what I love about it, too, is that the joke that she said, like, I'm driving with royalty or something, like the Queen of England. Yeah, he's really touching like, her. Touching her. Like, the Grand Duchess. The Grand Duchess, yeah, or something like that. He's like, just take me back to my flat and uh, I'll, I'll tell you everything because he doesn't know what's going on. But like in the reflections, you're Mark, you're out of your depth. Don't just give me back the body. You don't know what you're doing. For At this moment, I thought, is she a bad guy? Is she going to double cross? Maybe this was like another spy that he was like screwing around with. And now she's come back for revenge. Mm-hmm. So they get to his apartment and it's like, you know, at first we thought she he had like a secret apartment that was like all like posh oh. and everything. Yeah, yeah. No, they go back to his crappy apartment and she's like, this, this is where you live? He's like, oh yeah, it was my mom. It's like, oh, you're talking to your mom again? Which is really funny because he doesn't, he never even realized that, that they weren't, because that would make sense because he's always, looks like he's leaving messages to his mom. Yeah. And, and he never, never talking with her. So maybe Mark did something yeah. that caused. Because Mark doesn't care about yeah. this thief life. And then, then he finds out he's married. We're like, whoa, 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 we're married? He's like, what? He's like, yeah, I brought the papers so we can get her divorced. And he's thinking, what the heck? Because and she noticed like, oh, you're reading this French book. And he's like speaking French with her. And then the fact that she knows a lot about Egyptian stuff. 
So you feel bad for Stephen because he's like, oh man, you're like the perfect girlfriend I want. Yeah, because here's the funny thing because he recites his, a poem in French she's, and he's like, oh, she's my favorite poet. She's like, no, it's not. That's my favorite poet. So they already had this weird connection without ever yeah. actually meeting. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and she it, knew just by looking at the hieroglyphics, she just knew. He's like, oh, for example, like this one's like, oh, that's a funeral rite. So they kind of match up in a lot of ways. I, was afraid, I think they're probably more compatible than she is with Mark, which is kind of funny. Well, and also another messed up part, though, do you think Mark used that to his advantage to get her to be on the team with him? Like, how much of Steve's knowledge can he access? access. Are they completely separate? Or is there, like, a bleed over? Where he could be like, ooh, you're, I, I don't know. know, I can pull this from Steve. Yeah, I don't I think I think they were completely separate. I think it's For breaking while, down. It's breaking down no. now. Okay. But Steve's like, you know what you're doing? Stop this. And he's like, you know what? She's get out like, of this apartment. He's like, you're going to get her in trouble. You're going to, he's like, I'm going to show you exactly why. He's like, you're going to get her killed. Yeah, then, he, then he backs off. Because he's like, if you show the scarab, she will die. Because they're going to come after her. Right. And she's like, what is in that bag? And she pulls out the scarab. She's like, this? The thing that we went on all those missions for, we got in you're keeping it for yourself in a stupid gym bag? How come you didn't tell and me? And he says, you can have it. I don't want it. First, I'm thinking, oh, is this going to lead to some kind of treasure? Yeah. But if we know. The other people want it. Why does uh, uh, Concha want it? Yeah. yeah. Why? So if it's the... See, we don't know yet. Yeah. But is there some kind of power in there? Or maybe just stop something from happening? So he's like, fine, just keep it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on with this Mark person. That's not me. You seem like a very lovely lady. I, I, I would never divorce you. Yeah, yeah, this guy sounds like a douchebag. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't basically. like this Mark guy. He's a yeah. jerk. And you can see Mark in the mirror is like... What yeah. can he say? You know. Yeah. But it's then there's a knock at the door. Uh, Stephen. He's like, see, look, see, I am Stephen. Then he's like, you gotta get out of here, or hide. And he answers the door and he sees like some some officers. They have badges. But he's like, oh no, uh, yeah, I'm Steve. But um, they just bust their way. They just in. bust their way in. Um, yeah, no search warrant or anything. The things are different in England with yeah. when it comes to like that kind of stuff than it is America. But. They start just walking around, rifling through all his stuff and everything. Yeah, and like this he, other guy's like kind of like a big guy. So I'm like, this guy could totally beat the crap out of Steve. Yeah. Well, and also just the weird stuff, like looking at the bed, like, oh, you live alone and stuff. Like, what the hell? Like, leave me alone. Like, they even got it. Funny, they got the pyramid thing. That's just a paperweight. <laughs> yeah, it's like, where'd you get this? It's like, yeah, it's a pyramid. And he's like, uh, at the paperweight store. <laughs> <laughs> but then they see the uh, the passport. Oh, you got fake passports. We're taking you in. So he ends up getting arrested. They look out the window and she's like hiding. Behind like one of the little like uh, chimney thingies. Mm-hmm. So she got away and we could tell she's kind of not quite Black Widow-esque, but she's still pretty good at like, like, yeah. like, ju- like almost like what adept spy kind of stuff. Adventure lady. Yeah. yeah, adventure lady. Yeah, kinda. there you go. Like there a Drake. Go. Yeah. So then they, they're, they're uh, taking him away and they're looking up this Mark Spector guy and we see that he's like an international spy guy. And they, he, like, killed people in his excavation. Like, well, that's what they're saying. And he's like, Why? Oh, you tied him up. Oh. Zip tied him, blew their brains out, like, execution style. And then even Mark's like, or uh, Steven's like, I, this Mark guy's awful. Yeah, and he goes, I never uh, would yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But this Mark guy just seems like the born identity type. Yeah, get the yeah. job oh, done. Gotta get the job done and kill these dudes. Yeah. So they're taking him away, and they end up just going to some place. He's like, it's not the police station. What did you make you think we're going there? I'm like, oh, God, what are they going to do to him? Right. Soccer ball hits the window, and he's like, help me. Help me get like the girl, girl me. thing. Then he sees the tattoos. Like, oh god, they took me to some place. Yeah, it took me to the where the evil other guy was. But we uh, we hear uh, Mark trying to talk to him, and then even Conscious talking to him too. But he gets pulled out of the car, and it's the other guy. Yeah, the guy and, with the cane. And it's funny because they were recording him, so now he knows that like, oh, he's he's fighting it. Yeah, like he's trying not to transform. And I do like the fact that he just kind of picks him up, brushes him off. It's like, oh, Steve, I'm glad we got to have this conversation. And you, you're you not going to turn into the suit. They're, you know, you're not going to cause so many your power. But before that, let's just have this conversation. But the conscious like, kill him, punch him in the throat, break his neck. So, like, oh, what's he telling you? Well, he's telling me to kill you. You do know you don't have to do what he tells you to do. Right. Then he starts, like, kind of raging and it makes the wind blow and everything. So... All those times, those little mini earthquake stuff, those were actually. But he says he can, unless you transform the moon knight, he can't do nothing. He, unless you're his avatar, avatar. You, you he can only kind of mess with you. Yeah, like blow the wind. So and don't worry about over. it. He can't. Yeah, he's just a blowhard. But yeah. we see him like standing in the background. He's, he's like super his. pissed. So he's constantly there, but then he's walking around, and he's that very. Oh, this used to be a terrible neighborhood, but now it has the lowest crime rate in the whole city. 
all because of all the things that we've done, and you can be a part of that too, and, Steve. And then, he, and then he gets kind of mad, like, "Oh, and the world only wants to hear about the bad stories, so that's why no one hears about the good." The, the good is good. The part. And you look at that. this community; doesn't look too bad. You're kind of like, "Okay, it's not horrible," but then it almost seems like has anyone had a boss or a supervisor that's just too nice? Yeah. Oh, you have quite the green thumb. Oh, look at those peaches. Why don't you grew some? When you're waiting, you're waiting for that. Yeah, hammer like, part. is this guy gonna go crazy yeah. on me? Or, or like in, uh, or like in a story where the like it's Pleasantville and everything's so pleasant, everything's so nice. But, but behind it, there's yeah, something, something sinister going on. Yeah. Right, right. This guy go nuts on me. And there's a funny <laughs> little scene where uh, there's a girl playing soccer and they're like speaking Mandarin, but I guess they're not. Because it was on Twitter, people are saying that they're just saying gibberish. Yeah, even to, even to even the guy who did Shang Chi, Ching, Ching, yeah. Ching, he's like, "Wow, guys!" Yeah, like he retweeted saying, "Really, you couldn't get an interpreter? Heck, you could have hired me to let you have a conversation." Because yeah. the conversation was what, like, about two soccer seconds? or something? Two yeah. seconds, like all you needed yeah. was like. And like Crimson said, when we were watching, I guarantee when they did the French part, that was French. They didn't do that, yeah. so it's kind of like weird, weird. So then he's like. Then he's like, oh, we have a cafeteria. All the food's free. He's like, you're a vegan. Oh, you got to try the lentil soup. And like, oh. You know, he's a vegan too, he said. And, and then the weird thing is they're watching a video of dolphins. No, they're watching things that calm you down. Yeah. yeah. And they have like, yeah, then they're like wearing like big earphones. Like, oh, that was kind of freaking odd. See, but it's one of those things where you have to be always in happiness. And yeah, that's creepy. not human nature though. No. no. So they're like eating soup and stuff. And he's like, can you hear him? He's like, oh no, I, I was his avatar before you. So I oh. know what he's like. I know what he wants to do. And he's like, what did he, he's like, I want to talk to Mark now because I need to find out where that scarab is. Like, I don't know where it is. Then Mark's in the bowl. He's like, you don't give up, Layla. Do not do that because they're a killer. Little killer. Then, of course, Steve being cool is like, I don't know. And what what I liked about it, too, is that because everyone was super nice. Everyone's super chill. As soon as as the scarab, they all start walking surrounding. I'm like, so you know this is some weird thing. And he's like, oh, hello. (laughs) (laughs) And then he brings up a good point. He's like, wait a minute. If you're judging people before they do something, you're judging an innocent person. Yeah, but he's like, just their thoughts? He's like, what what is like he's trying to get? What counts? What counts is he was like, it doesn't matter what counts. But we're going to bring heaven on earth. Yeah, because this guy, like I said, he was his former actor. He even knew when he said, I'm justice. He said he's justice, didn't he? Yeah, he exactly knew what he was saying. Right. Because. Because Concha believes in someone does something bad and I judge them and I kill them. And right. if, they did, if they killed, you know, they did something evil, mm-hmm. I kill them. But you're like, why wait around for that? Just get the evil out of the way. Um, it was again, you're you're like cutting the root. You're ki- you're killing the weed, but not pulling the root. I'm pulling the root, so there's no damage yeah, done. Right. But, but then it seems are saying, what about kids? You can kill kids. I mean, that's well. And, and did you know that sometimes you know cures. Or just small parts of disease, disease, and sometimes like, oh, if you have an infected arm, you chop off your arm. Aren't you doing damage to the body, but it, you're saving the body? Right? right, it's grotesque, and everyone hates it. But yeah, and then but then everybody's like, but then, that's not a child. That's not, not a, a child, baby. Yeah, and I and it's said that's why I like about this complex thing because like you said, it could be just two gods like trying to like a pissing contest, a pissing contest where it's like. Yeah, the, no, I don't want to judge a nine year old and be like, oh, you didn't pass. But, oh, I'm just See, die. how's that justice? Killing a child is justice? No, no, no. That, no. I don't. But something they're going to do 10 years from now. And years. What, what if they yeah. don't do it, though? Yeah. Right. Who's to say you're 100% on your... Right, right. Like, what if, not to be mean, I okay, I see in their future they're going to kill someone. I lock them up for 20 years. They're not going to do it. See, that's the thing. Yeah. Or what if in 20 years you get that drive to want to do it, but in the last second you, you don't do it? They're, they're taking free choice out of the conversation. Maybe right. maybe it's just a thought as opposed to actually them doing it. See, that's not right. See, what if the anger is so much it feels like it would it could happen? Yes. Again, kind of minority report. Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that too, yeah. But he's like, just give me the scarab and then, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever he promised you, he's lying. Because there's always one more mission. Yeah, you'll Whatever learn. the deal was, there's something else. And I love that he says that to Mark because that makes up a poignant part at the very end of the episode. That there's always something more. Well, there's always something more. But then... What the girl shows up, Layla shows up, and she's like, "I had this scarab." Then what like, are you oh, doing? Jeez, what are you doing, stupid? Then Connor's like, "You better, you better stop this because that's not part of the deal. You, you messed this up. Then there's no deal anymore, Mark. You better fix this." But of course, Steve's like, "I'm not letting Mark take over anymore." Then you know, uh, she starts like, "Okay, you know, transform." It's like, "I don't know what that is." Okay, let's we get get out of here. So little action scene. He summons another one of those like demon dogs. Yeah, because he got like from this, the other god that he's uh, that he staff. Or something, his staff has like a piece of it. He's like, it's just a sliver of her power. So I don't know if that literally means a piece of her is in it or if it's just saying or that maybe it's a little cloth, bit. Of... Yeah. So yeah, and it's all purpley and it first made me think of Power Stone, but I don't know if that's a thing. No. So she hits the thing, opens up, and then like gets the jackal comes out and she's doing like cool like spy thrillers. She meets up a guy and he's like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, that was pretty awesome. 
So they get back to, they just live running away. They just get into some room and they lock it up. And other custody's like, I'm going to die in some freaking uh, archaeologist man Ma- cave. Yeah, 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 magician's man cave. Yeah, because it looks like... <laughs> She's like, come on, transform, do your thing. i seen you do it. And he's like, I can't, I can't. And he's like freaking out. And he's looking at Mark in the mirror. And Mark's like, you got to let you, this is the time. You got to let me. He's like, no, I'm not letting you take over. And she's starting to believe like, oh, maybe he does have this whole split. He's not lying about being Steve. He really believes he's Steve. Right. Because there's that moment where she's like, okay, Steve, we can figure something else out. And he kind of felt happy about that. Like, like she acknowledged him. Yeah. That you're, you're real. You're not crazy. Yeah. yeah. So this thing breaks in. And he's like, there's a jackal. She's like, what are you talking about? But something kicked in the door, but in her eyes, she can't see anything. And then he, he gets can see it. booted out the window. You better summon the suit, summon the suit. He's like, suit, uh, suit, summon. He hits the ground and we see like a white figure, but it's Moon Knight, but like in a snazzy white suit. <laughs> it reminds me of the suit kind of uh, from, uh, remember, um, Big? Yeah. <laughs> but it's suit? funny, it's funny about that though. That is actually in the comics. He does have, he was Yeah, too. because that's like, he's kind of like his snazzy suit. He survives yeah. the fall and he gets up and Mark's like, what's this ridiculous thing I'm wearing? Well, boy, you look like a psycho Connor Sanders. That's what you look like. He's like, well, he said suit and this is the suit. You know, he's like, no, the ceremonial suit. Did, not- you, li- did you like to see when he fell like that though? I thought it was kind of funny. A lot of people hated that scene. Well, and he like fell over. Yeah, Actually, it was funny. Because it's still Steve. Well, you know what's funny? Because that was ad libbed by the actor. That, yeah, that was great. Because he thought like when he got hit going down, he's like, he should still kind of like. Because he's Steve. Yeah. yeah. There's this Steve right now. But he's like, oh, I actually think I look pretty snazzy. He does look snazzy. I love this look. It almost looks like, uh, like if if Deadpool was gonna dress up like Moon Knight, he would dress like this to make fun of him. Yeah, right. that's what he kind of makes me feel like that. That's they should meet sometime. That'd be funny. So he's like, well, okay. Now then, uh, the wife shows up. Well, that's different. <laughs> that, like, that's not your usual suit. But then the thing's attacking him, but she can't see it. So she's yeah. like. And at this point, he has Moon Knight powers, but he doesn't know how to use them. He yeah. doesn't know how to... So he has durability, he pulls out the sticks. Yeah, he pulls out the sticks like, I don't know, this is kind of cool. <laughs> he's, kinda, <laughs> he's like, I don't know, I kind of like this. So so he's able to like summon weapons and stuff. He just doesn't know because yeah. he's looking for the scarab and he like, pulls out these weapons. Oh, what are these? Yeah. So he's fighting this invisible jackal. He can see it, but she can't. She's like, what's going on? He's like, get out of here. But of course, she's going to try to help. She like throws a bottle at it and it still had like liquid in it so she can kind of see its forms. Yeah. Like, oh, I guess there is something there. Uh, they're getting knocked around. I do like the invisible fight because if you see someone just flying around, you're like, what the hell's going on? I love it because they see him in the subway. He goes, maybe he's a fancy <laughs> drunk person. He looks fancy. He, yeah, he almost looks like a guy who's a super rich guy that got like high on cocaine or something. or something. Yeah. yeah. He's all getting knocked around and he's still looking. He's like, come on. And he's like, you, this he gives is, a good punch to it though. He marks it. Give me the body. You don't know what you're doing. He's like, I can handle this. And he kind of like takes off his jacket. He's like, come on. <laughs> he's like, <"Dude>, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 like a boxer. He's like, yeah. come on. I can do this. Come on. But like, I, do, I look when he does hit him with that one punch. Well, I was good. He hit him. He hit him. Then he thought he got him down. <laughs> he's like, oh, look, I did it. Did you see that? And he's like, well, yeah, I talked to the girl. Yeah, like then the, the jackal attacks him again. And it, it's super funny because I think. Just having these special powers, he can beat normal people. Yeah. But if he's going to go up against someone that knows how to fight, it's better that Mark be in control. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But then he's telling him, he's like, okay, we got to kill this thing. You got to let me take control. Because there's, there's, there's people around. He's, he's going to hurt people. Got to yeah. do it. And he said, okay. Then he lets him take over. And that's when you get the full like, transformation into the actual yeah. like ceremonial mm-hmm. fight suit. Then the wife tells him, got to get this thing away from here. So we get a cool little chase run scene. He's climbing up the walls, jumping from building to building, jumping across the moon. Cool stuff. It looks great. I absolutely love it. Gets the uh, jackal to follow him. As soon as he jumps, he stabs him and he impales him like yeah. Uh, and he's thing. got like the they got these moon things in his like you chest. Know, his chest that he pulls out like little like boomerangs. When it's like impaled on the thing and he's looking up in the shadow of the moon, it looks cool. I love the cool. scene. I love the scene too when he was when he was going. You could see the river and the moon yeah, yeah. reflection. That was cool. Too. That's cool. I love it. It was a really cool little like action fight scene. And then when he looks up and he grabs yeah. the thing, it, it's it's awesome. It's it's really freaking cool. But then he's looking for the scarab. Can't find it. Because he even like, took the jacket off. He's like, son of a... He's all pissed off. And he, he lost the freaking scarab. Uh, and then the, the other bad guy picks it up. Yeah. Well, as you will technically, a, like some homeless man And then, And then he pays a bum by killing him, killed by the just of judgment thing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank because you, guy. Because he, he tells him, he's like, oh, I can give you food and give you shelter. Then when he touches his hand, he he judged him. He's, he's like, like oh, you won't be able to see the future we build. And he falls over. Yeah. And but the other girl, then the saw wife, his wife, saw, Moon Knight's wife saw it, and then she just took off. And then he we stared fought. a little too long, my girl. I know because he got a really good look at your damn face. You should have 
Yeah, I know, I know. He should have known, like, as soon as like, he was saying stuff to him, like, okay, And it's funny, and this time he has a conversation the other way around where he's talking Steven through the mirror, and he's right. like... He's like, so this is what it's like being on the other side? He's like, yeah, I guess. And he's like, I can barely move. I feel concerned. He's like, you'll, you'll get used to it. Just over time, you'll feel better. He's like, I hate this. I don't want this anymore. I want my life back. He's like, come on, just let me finish this mission. And then you'll never see me again. See, that's what makes it weird. So, like like you were saying earlier, is it another person? I think Mark died. Yeah. He was going to hell. And then before he got there, the god came to him and said, hey, I can give you your life back. You just have to be my, my avatar. Yeah, and he put him in this body of this Because so he said you were just a corpse. That's not your body. Yeah. So Steve must have died in some way. Yeah. Maybe something stupid like he got hit by a bus or something. Something. And then he came back to life. And then Mark was probably like, like you said, some kind of maybe mercenary because he sounded like he had, yeah, I think CIA. before CIA, killing people. Yeah. Oh, so this is kind of like the more pleasant version of Spawn. Yeah, I was, I was thinking yeah, Spawn. Yeah. I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah. A so, little bit more. A little yeah, more PG-13. That's all. But then, yeah. you know, the whole like, he's like, I, you stole my life. I right. can't even go on a date. I can't even keep a job. But he's like, you're like basically telling your job, everything that's going on to your job, you're going on, none of that matters. And then we get the bomb drop where he's like, I'm doing all this, trying to keep her away from from, from him. because from she, Wakocha, whatever yeah, her name is. Yeah, because she wants to make her the new Moon Knight. Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, I don't want this life for her. Right. Then, that's why he goes, this, that tells you that Mark does love her, but he wants her to get away from me. I'm not good. Right. But, but Steve's like, you're giving my body back now. He's like, no, not yet. Not this time. And he's like, all the way up till now, there's been a good a fine line between you and me. No, no more. Goes that broke down for some reason, but now we can like talk to each other and be. So each I, don't, I think Marky keep as long as he doesn't give it up. So but then I think... Steve's like, "Oh, I'm never gonna let you be quiet." And he keeps screaming and yelling and screaming and yelling. But then he just stomps the mirror. Oh yeah, he kicks it. Mark kicks it. Yeah, like he hear just. Him more. But then, uh, uh, Concha Concha shows up and he's like, "Well, the, the no, we're changing like the deal is." is it's going to be changing. Yeah, because you you, you're, you're keeping Steven keeps messing things up. And he's, but he's like, but I can handle this. Oh yeah, I've really seen that you're handling it really well. But he's like, you, you know, uh, if you don't want this anymore, I already have someone else picked out. But you won't be happy with what I choose. Who I choose. And he's like, Ugh. but I do like the fact that like, you like the work I give you. You enjoy it. You know, Mark does. You Mark, yeah. but well, well, assassin. That, well, that's why he chose him. Because if you think about it, like you said, if Steve was dying, he probably thought, oh, Mark will be overpowered that person. But I think the main bad guy, the other guy's right. He goes, there'll always be another mission. Yeah. There's always going to be something else in this movie. You're never going to be able to rest. But here's the thing. Is this, is this God really good? That's what I'm saying. But if he's judging bad people and they've already killed people, well, then you're killing killers. Right, right. And that's the thing I'm getting at. He, But again, though, is he doing it as a job or something he has to do? Or is it more of like... Like, this is what I do. Well, I hope yeah. he eventually becomes a like Ghost Rider. He has a power and he keeps it and he becomes independent from this guy. And fights Where he's it in, off, he, yeah. He's like a superhero, you know, in a sense. And he doesn't have to always do what he wants. Right. Like, some or kind or of kill separation. people. Yeah. yeah. And also, it's weird, too. I wonder if what the other bad guy said was true. Like, he's, like, not liked by the other guy. Yeah, he's not respected or anything. Is that just his perspective? Right. Because I'm pretty sure uh, the god of the moon, especially in Egypt... Yeah. Would oh, you remember when the other gods were missing? That's right. Remember in the lady see, he said there's nine, not seven? Not seven. And maybe Moon Knight's, maybe the moon god Concha is missing in that picture. See, I wonder if that has going to play into it. But I do like the fact that... There's a lot of gray in this series. He's, he's like, well, we're, because we don't have the scarab anymore. He's like, well, we'll find it. We'll get to the tomb before they do. Then he's like, well, okay, where are we going? He's like, where the hell you think we're going? <laughs> then t- t- they're in Egypt. Yeah, so, he's there and there's Mark drinking, you know. So and, did he like just... Vamoosh him there, or did he say, "Okay, go buy"? A I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he had the money, and he just friggin' flew there. Yeah. And then, yeah, he's like all like a drunkard, just sitting there in his chonies. So, um, but but Mark doesn't look like a happy guy. No. Steve looks like if he could have got that job as like just a tour guide, he could have been a happy dude. Yeah, I think Mark's kind of envious of him because his life is so not yeah. simple, but nice and yeah. pleasant and. And Mark's just the opposite of that. He doesn't, you know... Do you think there's a chance where these two can maybe... Separate? To, separate or coexist. In yeah. The same person. And that where the consciousness become, he becomes smart. <laughs> because smart. like Mark smart. smart. I like I like smart. He becomes smart and then smart. it's like two people in but, one. But it's so funny. I could see a character like this, you know, get playtime with Blade. Yeah. Because Supernatural fits the whole kind of... Blade in Egypt is hot in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, so yeah, it's another fun episode. Episode one and two, both pretty dang good. Alec only says when he fell down, that was fine. That you guys was are funny because it was Steve. It yeah. was funny actually a little bit too because it was kind of like he's oh I survived, but he's like oh he's like ah. Cause, yeah because again regardless of what kind of superpowers you have, it's gotta hurt. You got hit in the face yeah. and like, in the chin. 
So yeah, none, none of that bothered me. No, none I of the, love like, the series. None of the uh, like him like falling yeah. like a butterfly. I tells like me he's still giving me squeamish when you hear that bad guy when he's walking because his shoes. Yeah, she's glass in him. Glass. Oh. And I think to myself because ah. I thought that was like oh maybe the maybe his like avatar is telling him to do that. No, it's been, probably been because he's with that one guy for so long. Or it's Maybe. like one of those things where there's people, oh, I had my own sin, so I better whip myself. Oh, he could be. Yeah. yeah. Like one of those people like, oh, time for my daily punishments. Oh, yeah, where they get the little whip and they're yeah. whipping themselves. Like, yeah, so oh, that's like geez. his version of that. And it Probably. could be makes sense because like maybe he feels bad killing these people. So he's like, oh, I better punish myself to be. Maybe. Try to be like yeah. kind of equal. But here's the thing, though. I bet you, I bet you something's going to happen where the gods come out. She judges him and kills him. Probably. But I did everything you said, but you're being judged. <laughs> and kills him. Yeah, you're the ultimate judge because you're the one killing these people. Well, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what a fun series so far. Two episodes in, both pretty great. Yeah, I can't wait to watch the next one. And yeah. people were still complaining from episodes one and two. Oh, the girl had to come in and save him. Well, it was Steve. He has no idea how to fight or anything. Oh, yeah, right. it made sense in the context. It wasn't Mark, guys. It's, it's fine. Yeah, so... Because when you saw Mark, he handled business. So I don't know what, what people were complaining about. They just don't like the, the MCU. Yeah, they just, hate, they just hate Disney. Yeah. yeah, I know. Disney does a lot of dumb things. A whole lot of dumb things. Super but when they show something cool, I say it's cool. Yeah, I'm not going to deny it. So yeah, can't wait for the next one. Brendan's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.